Hi everybody, this is Robert at Scott Leroy Marketing. Today we're going to show you how to add your KW email to Outlook 365 or 2019, whichever you want to call it, they're essentially the same thing. If you have an older version of Outlook, unfortunately this video may not be helpful for you. If you know how to access the account settings in your version of Outlook, we're going to get you the server settings that are necessary and if you know how to plug them in, you're welcome to try that. But unfortunately we have no way of offering step-by-step -step instructions for any older versions of Outlook because we don't have access to them. This is the only version of Outlook we have access to. So if you need help getting set up on an older version of Outlook, you would want to reach out to KW International Support and we can get you their contact information if need be. Now one thing to point out before we get started is that this is a follow along video. You're going to click where I click, you're going to do what I do. And if I move too quickly for you, the magic of using video is you can actually let me do the action pause the video, you perform the action, and then you can start the video again and follow along and pause it as often as you need to. That's why we like these videos because you can move at your own pace. You do not have to try to keep up with me. So our first step to getting KW email onto your Outlook program is we're going to go to the Gmail web interface. So we'll go to gmail.com and log into our KW email. From your KW email inbox, up at the top right, we'll click on the little gear here to drop down the settings menu. Then we'll click on settings, the third option down. On this page, we're going to go over to the forwarding and pop IMAP tab here. There are two ways to access your KW email through Outlook. One is pop and one is IMAP. This video is going to show you POP, which actually is not recommended. We have a separate video showing how to set up IMAP, which is what we recommend, but this video is for POP. The difference is via IMAP, you can sync your email across multiple devices. You can have it set up in your Outlook on your computer, on your phone's mail app, as well as here in the Gmail web interface. If you use POP, unfortunately, the only place you're going to be able to access your KW email is via Outlook. Um, there's no sync across multiple devices. You can only get it from one single device. So what you want to do is make sure to select Enable POP for All Mail, even mail that's already been downloaded. This is going to bring over all messages that have ever been sent to your KW email. Once you enable that, you'll scroll down to the bottom and make sure to click Save Changes down here. Next, up in the very top right, we're going to need to click on where it's got the KW logo and either your picture or your initials in the circle here. In the menu that drops down, we want the big blue Google account button. You can ignore any other accounts you might be signed into. We're going to sign into the Google account for your KW email here. On the Google account page, there's a couple of things we need to fix. Over on the left under security, we'll click on that. And if you have two-step verification turned on, you can actually leave this on. We're going to set up what's called an app password to deal with that. If you don't have two-step verification turned on, you can uh, leave that off for the time being. There's another step that's going to be necessary for if you don't have two-step verification turned on. There's one extra step depending on which way you have it on or off. If you have it turned on, we're going to come down here and click on app passwords here. And it's going to ask you to verify that it's actually you because these app passwords do grant full access to your account, skipping the two-step verification. Once you're on the app passwords page, over on the left under select app, we're not going to select mail. That's for the default mail app on either Windows or Mac. Instead, we're going to come down here to other custom name here, and we're going to call this Outlook. And I'm just going to throw the 2019 365 there excuse me, 65 right there. And then we'll click generate here. And this is going to generate a 16 digit password. So you can copy that. And I would just recommend pasting that into notepad so that you have that to paste into Outlook later, because we do have to go back and cover that step that's specific to if you don't have two-step verification turned on. So we'll click done right here. And we're going to come back out to the security section. Once we're back out to the security page, if you don't have two-step verification, next we're going to scroll down all the way to the bottom to the less secure app access section. We're going to go down and click on turn on access, even though it says it's not recommended. This is the only way you can access your KW email via Outlook. Uh, less secure app access has to be turned on. So we'll click on this here. And then we'll click on the switch over here on the right to turn it from gray to blue. Blue means less secure apps is turned on. Once we got both of these settings taken care of, we can come over here to our Outlook uh, program here. Up in the top left, we'll click on File, and then we'll click Add Account here above Account Settings. 
You can have additional email accounts in your Outlook system, but we're going to add the KW email in addition to any emails that are already connected to your Outlook. In this section here, it's going to ask for your KW email, so you'll put in that full KW email address. And then under that, we're going to click on Advanced Options and check the box for Let me set up my account manually. Then we'll click Connect here. It's going to ask us under Advanced Setup, what type of account is this? If you're using IMAP like we have in our other video, you would just choose Google. But instead, we're going to set up POP, so we'll click on POP. It'll ask you for the password for your KW email or that app password that we just created over in the security section. And then you'll click Connect down here at the bottom right. And that looks like it's pretty much it for adding your KW email to your Outlook via POP. Now remember, this is going to download all of your messages from your KW email to your computer. Those messages will not be accessible anywhere else, not on your phone, not on the Gmail web interface, not on another Outlook installation. It will only be available on this one computer, this one Outlook installation. Once we're done here, we want to come down to the bottom and uncheck this box for set up Outlook Mobile on my phone too. There's not really a reason to do that. And then we'll click Done down here. We do not need to add another email address or click Next here. We'll just click Done down here at the bottom. Then when we come back to our Outlook system here, we're going to have that new address over here on the left. And if we go to the inbox, it should be downloading all those messages. That's how you can get your KW email into Outlook via POP. If you have additional questions about this, feel free to send us an email at support at scottleroymarketing.com.